Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 18th through to the 24th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana the Empress upright, and next we have Major Arcana the uh, Wheel of Fortune upright. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. And lastly, the Ace of Swords upright. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, for your overall energy, you have that of the Seven of Cups this week. That's very nice energy. Seven of Cups points to a lot of options, a lot of opportunities. If they're out, you're out there on the dating scene, for example, it could be that you have a lot of people interested and you could be... Um, you know, being able to pick and choose whoever you want to uh, to date this week. <laughs> With the Seven of uh, Cups in the upright, this can also point to, of course, uh, if you're applying for jobs or things like that, you could be having a lot of uh, options, a lot of opportunities here. Mm. Um, just with the Seven of Cups, you have to be careful with this energy because of the fact that you have to go through it with a fine tooth comb because not all the options here that are available to you are very realistic or feasible. So be careful that we're not looking at, with the Seven of Cups, it's very Neptunian energy. Make sure that we're not looking at things from, you know, more of a wishful thinking point of view, but more of a realistic. I don't really have to tell Virgo that because you guys wrote the book, I think, on uh, realistic points of views. So um, definitely just, uh, you know, go through it with a fine tooth comb and make sure, because uh, a lot of times a lot of options, a lot of opportunities can cause confusion. Let's make sure you sort of sift through everything. I always say it's better to have more options and more opportunities than none. <laughs> Coming right off the hop, we do have Major Arcana here, the Empress in the upright position. So this is really good news. Say, for example, if you were, um, you are out there looking for work or something like that, or getting your career started. The Empress can represent somebody who's very helpful. If you are looking for a job and you're putting your resumes out there, this could represent like an, a recruiter or someone who's being very helpful and could be assisting you in a major way. The Empress is somebody in a position of authority. She does also point to um, abundance, so very abundant and com confident uh, energy. This could be you yourself uh, embodying the Empress energies. Um, this is also the known as the mother, the mother figure card. So this could be someone very close to you in the early part of the week. Uh, a Virgo that's sort of aiding you or helping you. This could represent a counselor or someone in that kind of position. This person is very understanding. And if you need to talk to anybody, this would be a good week to talk to them on any subject, whether it be career advice or just uh, emotional advice or what have you very understanding person and very helpful as well and what's it's paired up with here beautiful energy it's the wheel of fortune in the upright position you're moving in the right direction virgo uh, and you could be in the right place at the right time just to land a, a lucky break it could be for some of you definitely a job on the job front or career front this could definitely be um even just random luck where you happen to walk into a store and buy a lottery ticket and win a few dollars it's a very good energy. This is where we're moving with the energies of the universe instead of having any resistance that could be putting us, you know, at, at opposite ends of what we're trying to accomplish. Now, moving on towards the weekend, here we go. We have the Queen of Pentacles here in the upright position. Queen of Pentacles is Earth energy, that of uh, Taurus, Virgo, like yourself, or Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Could be this person is being of aid to you, perhaps helping you with your finances. This could represent a financial person, someone who deals in high finances, could be an investor, um, could be a financial advisor, that kind of thing. Could also be uh, you, your own energy. Maybe you're just um, feeling like the queen of uh, pentacles. And also too, if you're coming up in your own reading in the upright position, again, showing you're on the right track, but we knew you were anyway with the uh, wheel of fortune here. So. This is all about you, uh, you know, coming into your own, stepping into your own power here, uh, Virgo. 
Queen of Pentacles is someone who knows how to look after her financial situation, plus she's also very strong and stable, sitting on solid ground. So it looks like you're very grounded this week and there could be someone around here, around you that's very helpful, very understanding. This is on the relationship front. The Empress could represent the person that maybe you're talking to or getting to know is someone who's extremely um, helpful and very understanding towards you. And the last card you have up here is the Ace of Swords in the upright position. Aces always bring in new, uh, new energies, new beginnings. So this could be a new beginning in conversation. This is, could be a new beginning in a conversation with someone. Maybe you're learning to communicate some of you in a different way, in a new way. For others of you, this is the, um, the sword of victory. Maybe you're having a victory with uh, communication or even thought. Could be representing two new thoughts coming, new thought patterns coming towards you, or a new idea that comes to you out of the anti-cosmos that you're like, whoa, yes, um, this is definitely good. Uh, the Ace of uh, Swords can also sometimes point to um, clarity, where you're getting clarity on a subject matter, or a tr very truthful conversation is coming to um, into your existence right now. So interesting reading here. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below if this is resonating and how so. And in closing, I'm going to be pulling a Shock of Wisdom Oracle card here for you. See what your card is. Completion. Completion. There we go. There's a completion of something perhaps coming in for you this week, um, Virgo. And I'll pull a second card from the Lenormand Under the Roses deck and see what else is going on for my Virgos here. We have the snake. Now the snake can represent, um, you know, something going on behind the scenes, a type of uh, snake in the grass maybe that you're dealing with, or perhaps that you're cutting off communication with, something like that. Those are your private messages. So I hope this reading helped you, Virgo. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.